go ahead and pick some eggplants now so we can get some bigger ones to come on. Today is July 12th and we're back in the garden. I just hand this stuff to you. I get that one. And um Also pruning some leaves. Uh, I took these leaves off the uh, zucchini uh, plant. plant right. I, what I do, I take the bottom leaves off, and that way they don't have mold, uh, like the powdery mildew or mold on them. So I go ahead and take that off. And also, it makes the plant, like I said, makes the plant healthier and get it to grow. This is a younger uh, zucchini plant right here. And this one actually don't have any uh, zucchini on it. Right now, it just started to flower. Start on my way back over here. These are nice size ones right here. Sit them right there. Next, I'm gonna. I've never seen these before. First time growing these, so never seen white eggplant. Okay, those. I 
Come on, pick that one. Let me get them small. Those ones that didn't make it, but they still are big. Enough there. I've been picking um, cucumber and peppers and stuff a while already. So what you're seeing here um, is not what we have total. So we've been picking this stuff for a long time already. I just haven't put it in the videos, in the prior videos. We've just been coming out as needed and taking what we need, okay? So I just decided to make a video showing you, at least we showing us out here grabbed a few things. Um, right here, if you take a look, there's a watermelon right here. And it is getting bigger. See it right here? And then there's another one right there, hanging. Another one right there. But there are a lot of them in here. And they're all different sizes. As you can see, these two are totally different. Um, I did have some problems with my pepper plants. So, I want y'all to see how bad they look. Look at that. It's probably totally drying out right here. I'm going to go ahead and clip it right here. Maybe it'll grow back. But yeah, something was over there. So I'm not going to put pepper plants over there for right now. Because I, th I believe there's something over there that's doing it to the pepper plants. And I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, wait a minute. I think I said nothing to the Messing with those, but it's only happening to the pepper plants. 
That's the only thing I'm having problems with. And those are the bell peppers. So I do have some over here. And right here, we got some snack beans that I need. is doing good. Look at this. This is Japanese beetle. Look at it. Eating holes in my grapevine. So tonight, I'm going to come out and spray it with neem oil. I'm going to come out and spray all my plants with neem oil. This is what you have a problem with, stuff like this. And then see, you can do the, see the damage it does to the leaves. Like, look at this leaf right here. Look at that. Just they eat holes all in them. So, well, that's my last victim. Hmm? That's my last victim right there. That's the one who did it last time. And don't think this cruel, y'all, but they gotta go. There you go. But anyway, the grapevine is doing good. So the size of what you just saw, it's still doing nicely. And I'm training the vine to grow along this post. Get it and go towards this post and go this way. And I'm not going to show you all the herbs and everything, but you can just kind of pan, pan over the overall garden. Okay, I do see some damage on my tomato plants. Look. Come over here, see the top of that? Look at the top of those tomato plants. Right here, and look at the top, let's go. Look at all the young leaves. 
Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell in the corner for more uh, notifications of future videos that come out. So overall, the garden is doing pretty good. Like I said, we had a couple of hiccups with the bell pepper plants, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I got a couple over there that's still alive. And um, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for next videos.